Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Allegro. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my resale app. Up above is the link for my new construction website. You can go to either one of those links or you could scan the QR code with your mobile phone and it will take you straight to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So I am sorry for the wind. But this is a new construction home. If you are thinking about buying new, you want to buy new, you are considering buying a new home, call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, before you email them, before you go and see the models in person. I need to go with you the first time we view it and I need to call and email on your behalf. Otherwise, you're going to work directly with the sales associates and they don't actually represent you. They represent the builder. So if you want representation, you want someone on your side, give me a call and fun fact as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission, the builder does. So one more reason to give me a call. I'm gonna spin around really quickly, show you where we are. We are in Henderson today. Again, we are in Cadence. There is so much uh, growth, so much building happening over in this part of town. Again, it is in Henderson. The master plan community we are in is in the Southwest por or Southeast portion, sorry in it's called cadence it does have an hoa here it is 40 dollars a month the lots here are going to be anything from zero to twenty five hundred dollars so really not that bad for lots this one we're looking at today is the oleander it is two stories three to four bedrooms two and a half baths two car garage now there are some pretty big options you can get like the higher ceilings upstairs the covered patio the balcony those are going to be the expensive options but this one's going to start at four hundred twenty nine thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars now let's head on in and get out of the wind again do me a huge favor and hit the like button also make sure to subscribe i'm trying to get videos out just about every single day and don't forget i am doing those 25 dollar amazon gift card giveaways once a week there is an active video for a giveaway right now i will link to it down below in the pinned comment so right here sorry i can't really back up anymore I believe this would be our coat closet. They're just using it as storage. Unfortunately, I can't open it up. Before we check out the whole downstairs, let's go ahead and head on up. Now, I just walked into this one really quickly and I noticed they did the four bedroom in lieu of the loft. And I will show you which one I think it is. But again, these homes, average person, I was told, is putting about five or 6% of the base price into the home. So figure, 25 maybe 30 grand in options and upgrades now again you can go way over that this model with the nice railing the flooring the higher uh, ceilings upstairs is probably gonna be somewhere between 80 and a hundred thousand dollars worth of options and upgrades so coming on into our upstairs bath now again they did upgraded sinks upgraded faucets upgraded cabinets counters all of that good stuff let's turn on the rest of the lights there we go and it's it's kind of funny i don't know if it's coming out on camera but it's like green white green white it's kind of like christmas colors so obviously they had to put some new bulbs in they they don't turn the lights off in here ever so the uh bad or the bulbs do die we have our toilet we have our tub shower combo again this is going to be upgraded as well it's a fiberglass composite tub and then you would get normally fiberglass uh for the shell they tiled you have your shower head you have your valve and you have your tub filler. All in all, pretty nice upstairs bath. Right here, we have what looks to be, yep, our linen closet. And then we have bedroom number one. Again, this has the higher height ceilings instead of eight feet, they're nine feet. They added the can lighting. Normally you're just gonna get that center one for whatever sort of light fixture you wanna put with the, or without a fan. But first room, it's decent size. It's a little bit on the smaller side. But you have a full size bed, two nightstands. I do like how many windows are in here, but you can see, I guess you could put a dresser right here, but it will be a little tight. Probably not gonna be able to fit a desk because I'm just guessing most people will want the dresser. And then we have our two door closet. Again, if you need to, uh, more hanging space, you could raise that up, add a second bar and shelf and you will double your hanging space. Also, I'm gonna point out right here, nice feature about the houses out here, they actually have a high uh, pressure fire suppression system in it. So think of like the sprinklers you see like in department stores and stuff like that. There's actually a fire line that runs throughout the house. So in case, God forbid, something does happen, you will be able to save the home. 
second bedroom. Again, they did the can lighting. This room feels maybe just a hair bigger, but you can see there's a little bit more room. So if you wanted to put a dresser, it'd have to be pretty narrow, but we have full size bed, two nightstands. I do like how they do have the two windows again. And then we have again, our two door closet. Coming on out right here, we have our laundry room. And again, you're gonna get hard surface flooring only in the wet areas. So kitchen, laundry, bathroom, entry. This does look like it's upgraded flooring. 100% the cabinets, the uppers are an additional cost. Normally you're just gonna get a shelf. So things to think about when you're buying brand new. A lot of these little goodies you're seeing all cost extra. So coming on around, I believe this is where the loft would be. And then they optioned this one with the fourth bedroom. But again, this room, it looks even just a little bit bigger. You can see instead of like two feet, there's maybe three and a half feet. Um, full size bed, a little bit bigger nightstand. So every room has gotten just a little bit bigger. We do have our can lighting. And then this one happens to have a walk-in closet. And oh, let's turn on the light. It's actually not bad. It's a pretty good size walk-in closet. So each room keeps getting just a little bit bigger and bigger. Coming on into our primary suite. And this is pretty nice size. I love how many windows are in here. Again, they did the can lighting. In this size room, it's almost, you're almost gonna want it because it will get dim. Now there's gonna be a lot of natural light since there are so many windows, but we have our bench, we have our uh, king size bed, two nightstands. And then this one, they even optioned with the balcony too. So this is an option you can get. So I'm not gonna run outside. It's just a little too windy today. I'll go out back um, when we check out the backyard. But just to go out right here, it is breezy today. The weather is changing. It's getting cold out here. And I know cold is different to different people's ideas, but it is in the low 50s today. Coming on into our bathroom. Whoever was in here kept turning off all the lights. There we go. So same cabinet, same countertops as before. The only thing I will note is the counter hi uh, height is higher. And again, with the funny lights, <laughs> but this is a big option. Normally it would be separate tub, separate shower. They went with the car wash and it's so funny. I always see this with builders. That's our towel and off area. And I'll show you a little bit more about it. But why do they put the towels over here when you can put them in the toweling off area? Really nice feature to have. So you can dry off right here, not track the water through the bathroom. And they tiled this entire thing, floor to ceiling. And another neat feature about these homes, you have your shower head, your rain shower head, and then they put the valves right here. So you don't have to be underneath the cold water when you turn it on. I'm just gonna spin really quickly. It is a little bit tight in here but it's a good use of space. You have your toilet and then we have our walk-in closet and not bad. So we have single bar and shelf all the way around. Pretty good size closet. The bathroom, eh, it's really, really nice. It just feels a little cramped, just a little bit, but coming back on out. Let's go check out the downstairs. We'll see the backyard and everything else. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please, please, please give me a call. Again, all my info is down in the description and the pinned comment. Love to hear from you and love to help you out. If you just have a question of how the market is doing over here, please feel free to reach out. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am still doing those giveaways. Coming on in, before we see the main living, we have our powder room. And it's actually a really nice size powder room. So you have your toilet, you have your pedestal sink, Nice powder. And then we come on into the main living room. So it's very, very open. Everything is just big, one big great room basically down here. You have your kitchen, you have dining, and you have living. And they could even put like another bench or even a chair right here. There is a lot of space right in this area. It's nice again with how many windows there are. There's the one two, three, the slider, and the fourth. I'm gonna come all the way over here just so you can see the rest of the area. And then we have dining, kitchen. Really quickly, we're gonna sneak outside. I know it's a little windy today, but one thing you have to remember when you buy new, 
you have to budget for the backyard. Backyards are on average probably about 25,000. Now it depends. You can go way under that, you can go way over that. You add a pool, spa, and a heater for it. Figure at least like fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 for the pool. And then you still have to do landscaping. They did it nice though. They have the outdoor barbecue. They even have the covered patio. Again, this is underneath the balcony. And then pretty nice backyard actually. They have rock, they have the synthetic grass. They even have a little pergola. But all in all, very nice outdoor. So just remember, you have to budget for it when you buy a new. One of the things that could be nice about a resale is if the backyard is done how you like it, you're not paying that full cost up front. So we have our dining area and pretty good size. The dining table might even be just a little too big for in here. We have our overhang for our bar stools. You might be able to get three in there if you use a different one. And then right here, we have our pantry. So pretty standard size pantry. They did the 42 inch, or excuse me, the 40 inch uppers. They did the backsplash. Again, little upgrades for the cabinets. The backsplash is gonna be an additional cost. These countertops are an additional cost. You even have the trash can pull right there, which is actually really nice because everything is just a little tight in here. We have our five burner cooktop, our oven, our microwave, and then I'm going to see it does not vent outside. So this is just gonna recirculate. Just remember that you have to clean the filters out every once in a while because they will clog up if you do cook a lot. And then we have our stainless steel dishwasher. We have our double basin undermounted sink. And then here's the view from the sink. It's actually pretty nice. Everything is right here. If we spin back around, we get to our refrigerator and a little espresso nook. All in all, it's not bad. Again, maybe you just get a little bit shallower of a fridge because you do have a little bit of tightness right here, but there's so much room over here. Again, if you have any questions about this tour or any other tour, please give me a call again. All my info is down below. Love to hear from you and help you out in any way possible, whether it's a new home or resale, anything in between. Again, if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button, also make sure to subscribe. Again, that other link is going to be down in the pinned comment and the description for the current giveaway video. I'm doing one a week and then I pick the winner the following week. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone. 